It's not damaged. There's no big holes in it. Looks pretty good, doesn't it? No big gashes, anything like that. That's all we got to do up here. All right, now we're on the side of the trailer. Your trailer. Okay, so this is your side of your trailer. This part right here, this is the frame of the trailer. This is the frame, this is just the panels. So, our side of the trailer, I want to make sure there's no damage. Our frame, make sure there's no damage. Make sure all these rivets are in place, nothing's missing. There's no big holes, no big gashes where rodents can get in and eat all your lettuce, whatever you got in there. Lettuce? Yeah, whatever you can get. Oh, where are you? Yeah, yeah, you're, you're low. Yeah, okay, okay. <laughs> there's lettuce hanging around, you know. <laughs> um, Okay, your frame itself. I want to make sure there's no damage to it. Now, if you look under here, you kind of see how the trailer is all put together. Alright? So if you look under here, you got your frame, and you got all these cross members that go all the way down the length of the trailer from your apron all the way to the very back. All these cross members. And you want to talk about those. You want to make sure your frame and cross members. That are missing, they're not broke, they're not damaged, and all these rivets that hold these cross members in place, none are missing. Alright? Our floor underneath here, the actual floor of the trailer, it's made out of wood. Want to make sure there's no planks missing and there's no holes, no damage. Are they all made out of all similar materials? <laughs> all dry freight trailers, like non reefer trailers, non refrigerated trailers, right. all have wood floors. Reefer trailers? Too fast. All reefer trailers will have your aluminum floors. You got heater roofs? Yeah, I got up under there too fast. Okay, so we're gonna go back to here. Talk about our landing gear. This is what the trailer sits on, obviously. Uh, when it's when it's not attached to the truck. Right now, these landing gear pads aren't even sitting on the ground because it lifted it up just a little bit. So we're going to crank it up now. You can do that by the crank handle. Want to make sure your crank handle is, is properly mounted secured. When it's driving down the road, you want to make sure it's in this handle. All right. Now this isn't part of your pre-trip inspection. You won't have to raise and lower this, but since it's here, I'm going to show you how to do it real quick. So this isn't part of your pre-trip. These have two speeds to them. You can see it kind of going up. See, look down here, right here. You can kind of see it going up a little bit, huh? Am I? Yep. Oh, I need that. There we go. Now it's going up. It's going to take forever, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. We don't want to do that. Might not want to hit us. So we're going to pull this out. <laughs> ah, not fast, there's two different speeds. All we'll trailer manufacturers are a little bit different. Pushing this whole thing in might be high speed. Pushing it out might be high speed. It just varies by manufacturer. But one way or another, there's always two speeds to these landing gears. And that's for if, let's just say, somebody else loaded your trailer and they have a truck that sits a little lower than yours and you can't get underneath it. Let's say that your frame rail hits your apron, hits, the, hits your bulkhead up here. You can't slide underneath it. It's like, oh, what am I gonna do now? Well, guess what? You gotta get under here and crank it up. Now this is geared. Jack. Yeah, it's a, it's a job. <laughs> but you can have a fully loaded trailer, eighty thousand pounds of merchandise. No, so. You can still lift it up just by cranking it. <laughs> you can actually do it. It takes a while, like but there's it's, it's you don't have to muscle it. There's no muscle involved, but it takes a while. That's why it's geared like that. Yesterday I asked about um, Emily about this. Oh, you can't. <laughs> Don't tell me that. And 